afternoon from Ho Chi Minh City. We are headed to the War Remnants Museum to learn about what is locally known here as the American War. Let's crack on. Just got our tickets to the museum. The cost of one ticket is 40,000 dong, so just over two Canadian dollars per person. This reminds me so much of the war memorial in South Korea because just like here, they also had warplanes, tanks, and other military equipment displayed outside of the museum building, just like here. It's crazy to see all the helicopters and how big the blades are and the planes and everything up close. We haven't even gone inside yet and we've just walked through a really difficult exhibit detailing the prison conditions and it's absolutely heartbreaking. I mean, these people had a third of a liter of water per day their food was rotten and bug infested. That's what little they did get. They were subjected to the most brutal torture, including electrocution, waterboarding, beatings, being burnt. I mean, it's just unimaginable. Yeah, I knew that there were aspects to this war that weren't going to make for comfortable reading, but that was really tough to see. This honestly goes on the same level as Cambodia. That was a big hit. Yeah. We're going to go in, educate ourselves on more because it's important to do. Obviously going through any museum, it doesn't really yield the best footage, but especially somewhere like here where the subject matter is so serious and somber, you never want to be disrespectful. I think it's also definitely worth noting that, like, that anybody who has knowledge of what went on during this war, then you would know that it's extremely difficult to read about and there are some subject matters that are included in here that are very disturbing so even if we could get the footage then maybe it wouldn't have been the best thing to have broadcast to an audience that maybe wasn't ready for it. So I think we've both come to the conclusion that we need a little bit of time to digest what we've seen but we definitely will come back and give you an update on our impressions yeah, once we've had some time to reflect. I think we may have now composed ourselves and decided what we want to share. I think it's important that we did take the time to reflect. Due to some communist uprisings in this part of the world that had already occurred, beyond just the USSR and China, the US initially had it planned out so that the whole war would be done in 1962 according to US drawn up plans. However, they didn't count on the level of Vietnamese resistance and how good it would be. But rather than just saying, let's pull out now, they've really doubled down and sought to essentially use whatever tools that they could in their arsenal to really beat the Vietnamese into submission, including using some of arguably the worst chemical weapons known to humankind in order to try and suppress the Vietnamese people. I had previously heard of napalm, which they did in fact use. Mm -hmm. What I didn't know about was something called Agent Orange, 
which is a chemical herbicide as part of Operation Ranch Hand. The intention was basically to kill all of the flora so that the Viet Minh and Viet Cong couldn't hide essentially. However, there were other consequences to it. This is an absolutely horrific chemical agent that not only harms humans in the present, however, it also can do so for generations to come. They were saying at the museum today that there are even side effects in children who have been born four generations later. Obviously, reading about all of this, as well as seeing a lot of photos that have been taken by eyewitnesses, seeing the effects of Agent Orange, seeing the effects of napalm, even just seeing the treatment of civilians was just horrific. I think probably one of the most prominent images was of a US soldier picking up a part of a Vietnamese civilian's body that had been blown apart by a grenade in full colour. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like that. The problem with images like that is that that wasn't the only one that was that level of disturbing. There were, like, unfortunately in that museum in particular, there were a dime a dozen. It wasn't just talking about the war as well, but there was also another section which was talking through the prison conditions. 800,000 Vietnamese people were incarcerated as a result, 90,000 died, and were beaten, tortured, suffered permanent disability in arguably some of the worst conditions that anybody could hope to be put into, as well as tortured using some of the most brutal techniques that I had hoped had been confined to medieval times, but apparently not. There's definitely a reason why we didn't take too much footage of this, because we wanted to be respectful, we wanted to educate ourselves, but also we wanted to spare anybody the horrific images that we've seen ourselves. Despite what we have seen, I don't think we can stress enough the necessity to go and see that museum for yourself. It is so important that you go to places like this, like we have done in Cambodia as well, to learn about this, because it is an essential part of history. One, to actually get a full understanding on the horrors of war. I still can't wrap my head around the idea that human beings can do this to each other. But we need to learn from these things to try and make sure that such atrocities don't get repeated on as frequent a basis as they seem to in the 20th century. This is somewhat recent history, like the Cambodian genocide, like the Korean War, the effects of it are still felt. In my opinion, we haven't learned from these wars because to this day, we are still doing the same thing in other countries. And we're not just pinning anything on a specific country here. Pretty much most countries in the world seem to have had... Their moment in shame. I know mine has. I know Canada's got its history as well. No one's coming out of this particularly clean. But it is something that we all need to really learn from because these things should just not be happening. It's that simple. Sorry that a lot of this has been spent talking, but we just wanted to give our impressions and pass that on. Unfortunately, it was a difficult day to navigate purely because it's a very sensitive topic and we hope that you can understand that. We do still thoroughly recommend that you do go to this and any other part of Vietnam that will allow you to learn the history of this war because it's important and we should always learn from every aspect of history because fundamentally if you look back at history and you get a warm fuzzy feeling about it you haven't learned it properly i think that's that from us today so yeah we will catch up with you then but until next time take care and try to keep smiling <laughs>